Welcome to Let's Cook TV. I'm so lucky today because I have a beautiful lady preparing me breakfast. In fact, I think I smell cooking right now. Hey, Lita, would you cook for me? Here you go, it's your breakfast. Papa Gile. You really can't tell what it is? It's scrambled egg. I, I'm sure at some point they used to be eggs, but uh, they're supposed to be light and fluffy and, well, look like eggs. Now you make me feel sorry. Don't worry, be happy. I'm gonna show you how to make fast, easy, and delicious scrambled eggs so that the next time you prepare it, they'll look much more appetizing and I'm sure much more delicious as well. I promise next time I will do better. All right, so let's get ready for our main dish recipe. Let's go. So we're gonna crack three eggs into this bowl. Okay. Three eggs into the bowl, there's one. And then we're just gonna take these eggs, scrambled eggs on there, and just lay them over the bread. Mm. It's a sign to flip it, so if we just let go of my ring here, let go. Let go. So go right under it, there you go. Give it a flip. Let's go. Today, we are cooking the most delicious, fluffy, and soft scrambled eggs with the main ingredient... Eggs! Eggs, which are yes. the most nutritious food on the planet. planet. And for women, three eggs contain half of the protein that they need every day. Well, that's great. And not only are eggs packed with protein, but they mm -hmm. also have lots of vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, which are great for your eyesight, mm -hmm. and helping prevent cancer. Yes, and also it boosts our immune system and weight loss. So what's well, a perfect way to start a healthy breakfast? Well, let's look at what okay. we need. What well, we obviously need are eggs, a tablespoon of butter, some fresh milk, okay. salt, and pepper. pepper. All that we need to do to start is to crack three fresh eggs into our bowl. How do you know that eggs is fresh? You know, that's an excellent question and here's a little experiment that you can conduct mm -hmm. right at home. To know if an egg is fresh, you just need to fill a glass full of water. And mm -hmm. What we're going to do is just put the egg inside. Okay. If the egg floats to the bottom, or sinks to the bottom, I sinks should say, to the bottom. and lies on its side, you know it's fresh. Ah. If it kind of stands up, but it's still at the bottom of the glass, it's okay to eat, not as fresh, but Okay. Mm -hmm. If the egg floats to the top though, mm -mm -mm. it's not good, just throw it away. That's new to me. May I try? Absolutely. So egg number one. It's fresh. It's fresh, it's on the bottom, great. How about yes. uh, that other egg we have there? Okay, let me do. So oh. this, we have to throw it away. Yeah, that's uh, definitely an unfresh egg. Hmm. So now that we've tested all our eggs using our mm -hmm. nice little water method at home, yep. it's time to make the scrambled eggs. So we're gonna crack three eggs into this bowl. Okay. Three eggs into the bowl. There's one. And one more after that. You wanna try the last one there? You try this. I'll try it as well. There we go. And the third one. Now I'm gonna need a fork because what we're going to do is whisk the eggs together okay. with a little bit of milk. So you only need about, let's say, a tablespoon of milk. Let's add it in there now. Just a milk. little, a little bit of milk, and we're just gonna whisk it. So. What about the salt? Sure, we'll have a couple pinches of salt and some black pepper as well. Okay. A little bit of salt. That's probably good. It's so hot. <laughs> good exercise. That's why we're having a healthy breakfast. All right, I think we're good to go. You okay. just want to whisk it together until it's all been incorporated. You can see I even got a little froth going on there. Yeah. So we're done with our whisking of the eggs. Now what we need to do is heat a pan over medium heat. You want to make sure that the pan is non-stick so we don't have to use too much oil. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to need our butter from before, so we're going to add about, uh, about a tablespoon of butter in here. There we go. And you want to have that butter kind of coat the bottom of the pan. This will not only add flavor to our eggs, 
but also make sure doubly that it won't stick. So why are you doing that one? I made the toast. Oh, that'd be great. Toast is awesome. Okay. All right, so we're just about ready with that. What I'm going to do is prepare my eggs. I'm going to pour in my scrambled egg mixture. Mm. And I'm also going to turn down the heat. Why you have to turn down the heat? Well, because we want to make scrambled eggs, not fried eggs. And if it's too hot, mm -hmm. it'll cook it too quickly. Now, once you start seeing the eggs cook, you can actually see around the edge of it. See how it kind of turns white? Yep. That's how you know the egg is cooking. And we're just going to stir it with a spatula or a wooden spoon. Can we just leave it like that without stirring it? Well, you can if you're going to make an omelet or if you want to burn it like you did this morning. But the key mm -hmm. to making really delicious, light and fluffy scrambled eggs is to constantly stir over low heat. I think they're actually looking almost done. See how quick that was? Yep. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to turn off the heat now and just finish the cooking. Mm, why we have to turn off? Well, just like I said before, you really want to control the heat. And because the pan is still hot, the eggs will start, will continue to cook even after we turn it off. Mm. So right now I'm going to take this off the, the burner there and keep it aside. I know you were, you were cooking some toast earlier. Let's see if it's yep, ready. The toast is ready. Well, I think these eggs look perfect. Now it's time to plate it up. We just need the toast you put in okay. there earlier. So a couple slices, perfectly toast, well done. Thank you. Sure thing. And then we're just going to take these eggs, scrambled eggs on there, and just lay them over the bread. We're going to add a little bit of uh, some bacon on there. So just a little, a couple on there. And actually some diced tomato as well. OK. Add a little color and also some, make it a little more healthy as well. And if you want, if you have it, you can also put on some dried parsley. Not only I does, love parsley. Well, not only does it add a color to it, but it also has a very wonderful flavor when you combine it with scrambled eggs. So I'll just put mm. it on there. And if you want to finish off, let's put a mint sprig on the top there for some garnish. Want to put just one small yep. one on there? I'm drawing. I really want to taste it now. They say the, the proof is in the pudding, as it were, but it's in the scrambled eggs, so have a taste and let me I'm know what you think. Mmm. You're so soft. It's like velvet in your mouth, right? Nice can, and airy and fluffy. Yeah. And I can taste the milk. Oh, excellent. So there you have it. Scrambled eggs done right. Healthy way to start your day. But don't go away because we have another delicious breakfast menu coming right up for you in CIY or Cook It Yourself. Welcome back to CIY Mini or Cook It Yourself and today we're making some scrumptious pancakes. Yes. Well, in order to start off, we have to look what our ingredients are. It's going to be mm -hmm. super easy and super simple doing it from scratch today. So first you're going to need some all-purpose flour, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of salt, salt and sugar, some sugar uh, baking, baking powder. powder. This is vanilla extract, some fresh milk, butter, what? about two or three tablespoons and three fresh eggs. So to start off with, we're going to first combine all the dry ingredients together. Okay. So I'm going to take my all-purpose flour and add it to a bowl. And then I'm going to take also just a pinch of salt, you know, just a little. Pinch of salt. 
I'm gonna add in my, my sugar, so about five oh. tablespoons of sugar. Yep, oh. we're gonna add all of it in there. And then about a teaspoon of baking powder, so we'll add that in there as well. And then we just wanna whisk it together to make sure that all those dry ingredients are combined. Also make sure that, as you can see in the flour there, you wanna make sure there's no big clumps left over. Mm. All right, I think that's just about right. You can see there, nice and combined. So the second part is obviously mm -hmm. combining all the wet ingredients together. Wet ingredients. So first up, our fresh eggs. Okay. So now we have our eggs, we just want to add some of our, our melted butter. Melted butter. Do make sure if you're adding melted butter that it's already cooled down because you don't want the hot butter to actually cook the eggs. And then we'll add in the fresh milk. Milk goes in. And then lastly, just a little bit of vanilla extract. Now this is very potent stuff, so mm. you want to make sure just to add, let's see, half a teaspoon. Is yeah, it? oh, that's perfect. All right, ingredients. We need to whisk all these together to combine I'm gonna them all. I'm going to use Fox. There you go. And you want to make sure that all these ingredients are all blended together well, so when we combine it with the wet ingredients, it creates a very smooth batter. All right, so here comes the really important part. Putting two of them together. Okay, pour it slowly into the dry mixture. There you go. Wonderful, perfect. Mm. All right. Here comes the fun part. Can I do that? Sure. Here, let me just make sure. You want to make sure that all those clumps of, of flour are out of there because when they cook, you actually get a bunch of dry flour in there. You know, when you want to have a quick breakfast, this is actually quick. Remember, remember my motto, right? Yeah. Has to be fast. Easy, has to be easy and, and delicious. Absolutely. Most of the lumps, if not all of them, they're all nice and gone. Have a nice smooth batter for us right now. All right. I think we're just about done. So there's our pancake batter. Now, while this waits, you might, we want to actually let this sit for about two, three minutes. Why we have to? Why you have to wait? Well, actually, it's a really good question. We want to have light and fluffy pancakes. And actually, the baking powder that we added to the batter, it's going to release some carbon dioxide. And mm. it's that CO2, which actually puts that airiness into the pancake. But we have to allow it to do a little reaction here first for about two or three minutes. All right, well, I think our batter is just about done. It's been a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. Our pan is nice and hot. Always be careful around the stove. Now, here's a little quick trick that you can do at home if you want the perfect size pancakes every time. Mm -hmm. Now, I put that thing over here. It was. Looks like a little ring, or did you uh, see a ring I put around here? You mean this one? Ah, I thought, in your pouch, huh? I thought well, you, we don't need this. No, nope. this is actually used when you make eggs. Oh. It makes a really perfect frame for that. You just put it in the pan and you crack the egg into it. But for us, we're actually going to use it to make the perfect size pancake. Okay. Number one, we want to make sure that it's nonstick. So what we need to do is just put a little bit of butter on the inside of the ring. That way we know when we pour the batter inside. Why not in the pan? Oh, we're going to put it in the pan as well. So we're going to, we're going to butter the inside of the ring. Ah, inside of the ring. And then we're also going to put some butter into our pan here. And you can see there it's nice and bubbling up. You know, it's yep. nice and warm. Just perfect. Hmm. Put the ring down. Then we're going to take some of our batter. Okay. And just pour it inside the ring. All right. So it only takes just about a minute to finish. You can see there, some of the bubbles have come through. Mm, it's cooked so around the edges. We're it's just, the sign to flip it. It's the sign to flip it. So if we just let go of my ring here. Let go. Let go. So you can see there. Oops. Be careful though, because it's really hot, right? There's the ring. And then you want to flip it? Yep. So go right under it. There you go. Give it a flip. Mm. There you go. And it's only going to take a couple more seconds to cook the other side because it was already on, on the first side there. And that's it. Easy, it's huh? Easy. Let me try that. Sure. So just give it maybe a couple more seconds. You can always, you can always do a little cheating and, and look under the pancakes to see <laughs> if it's there. All right. Yeah. So you can see there. So if we flip this, you'll see on the other side, cooking nicely. All right. So you just keep on doing this. We have a lot of batter. You're probably going to be able to get about maybe. Mm -hmm. 15 to 20 small size pancakes out of the amount of batter that we used. Okay. And then when we're done there, we'll actually come back and show you how to plate it up and make it look absolutely delicious. So And decoration yeah. time. Hey, decoration time, so don't go away. All right, why don't you give it a try?
Welcome back. You can see Lita did a wonderful job finishing off our pancakes. That's that's quite a feat. Well mm. done. Thank you. Well, now we just want to plate it together and make it look spectacular as well as taste delicious. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first start off by using some of our fruit. We have what do we have here. We have some fresh kiwis and bananas. Mm. Now, one thing you want to look at when you're selecting out fruits is a lot of people try to avoid bananas which have some of these bruises or dark spots. Mm. In fact, that tells you that the banana is ripe and it's oh. actually more it's more healthy for you because it's, it's developed those carbohydrates, so there's natural sugars in there. I so I'm see. just gonna use one of these, I'm just gonna use my knife. So we're gonna use probably about half a banana. I'm just gonna cut it still in the skin. Here's another little trick. And kiwis, if you didn't know, are actually higher in vitamin C than even limes. Mm. Not only that, you can still eat the skin. Most people like to peel it off because it's a little fuzzy in the mouth, but I do like to be, use as much as I can. Waste not, want not. So I'm just gonna make a few thin slices of kiwi here. Always be careful with sharp knives. If you remember from our previous shows, a sharp knife is a lot safer than a dull knife. Mm -hmm. And for the banana, I'm just going to cut it in half. So, cut it in half like this. Okay. And then you can see here it's open. Here's a neat little trick, right? Now I'm just gonna cut it right inside the peel. Oh. And notice the pieces don't go all over the board. Yeah? Mm. All right, so now we have some nice sliced fruit. I wanna be able to decorate my plate. We also have some great treats here. We have some chocolate sauce and some strawberry sauce. Can you help me pass those? Yep. Wonderful, thank you. All right. So what I'm gonna start off with is putting a little bit of the chocolate sauce on the plate. And then I'm gonna take maybe about, well, we'll just take one whole stack of, uh, of our pancakes, put it right there on one end. Wow, those look really wonderful. Be careful though, because they're still a little hot. Then I'm gonna take my kiwi slices and put them on there as well. So there's one. There's mm. two, and there's three. And I'm gonna put some of my banana slices there as well. Mmm. And then to finish it off, just a couple little drops of my strawberry, strawberry sauce. sauce. There we go. And here's a little secret ingredient that I snuck into the studio today. <laughs> Whipped cream. <gasps> Everybody I loves love cream. cream. It's not the most healthy, but No mountain. There we go. And of course, a little chocolate snow for the snow mountain. Now we have it. And can you have one little mint sprig on the top there for me? Sure. Perfect, we'll just break off one of those for us. Perfect, there it is. Wonderful pancakes with fresh fruit and a little chocolate sauce. It's wonderful, but my decoration idea was much better than yours. Oh, really? Yes. What are you going to create? So I'm going to use this big one here. And we have the leftover. Oh, that's right. We have yeah. those little tiny pancakes. Yeah. Tiny you never one. want to waste the batter. So even if there's just a tiny left, make some really small pancakes. Yeah, so I'm going to use this, put it here. I think I know what you're making. What are those it? ears? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Good guessing. Mm. Do you need the chocolate sauce? Yes. I'm there you go. The chocolate sauce. There. Oh, I can see the face coming out now. Yeah. There's the nose. He's gonna love it. And I do too. Isn't it cute? It is. I have to say, yours is much cuter than mine. Thank you. You taste mine. And, and okay. you taste mine. Okay. All right, can I have a fork? Yeah. Thank you very much. Mm, All right. Maybe I'll cut in the bottom. Mm. Mm. Good, huh? This is so delicious. It's light and fluffy. Oh, wonderful. Well, I, I gotta try yours. I think I'm gonna eat one of the ears. Oh my god, my ear! <laughs> no! Mm. <laughs> so? Sometimes I really feel bad for the people at home 
because you can't taste yeah. what we're doing, but it just means that you have to try this at home because remember, it's fast, it's easy. And delicious. And absolutely delicious. Wow, this is great. But don't go away. We still have three, three words, words a day. day. So we'll be right back. And we're going to continue eating. This is really good. Yep. I'm going to have the other ears as well. Maybe a little bit of chocolate. No, my ear. No. <laughs> Welcome to our last section, three, three words, words a day. day. Now, the first word of today was whisk. whisk. Now, a whisk can actually be a noun or a verb. If it's a noun, it refers to this kitchen utensil, mm -hmm. which we use for commonly stirring things like our pancake batter. Yes. But if it's a verb, it's the rapid, short movements to actually do the stirring. <sighs> Lots of exercise, right? Yes. <laughs> and we remember we use whisk, the word whisk, when we make the pancake. And also for, I think, missing Scramble eggs. the scrambled eggs as well. That's yes. right. We just want to whisk it together to make sure that all those dry ingredients are combined. So whisking is really important to make yep. the pancake. Yeah. To go along with our second word of the day, and that is batter. Now, batter is a semi-liquid mixture, mm -hmm. usually consisting of flour, egg, milk, and or water. We use the word batter when we make the pancake, and when we fry something, we use the batter too. And did you know that batter actually comes from old French called mm -hmm. batre, which means to beat. And oh. since we have to whisk or beat the mixture together, that's where we get the word batter from. And actually the baking powder that we added to the batter, it's going to release some carbon dioxide. And now the last one is... A pinch of salt. Yeah, pinch is the last word of the day. Pinch refers to the amount that you are actually going to add mm -hmm. into whatever you're cooking. Yes. We use the word pinch of salt when we explain the preparation of the ingredients like baking powder, oh, flowers, flour, and, and yeah, of course, of course the salt. Yeah, pinch and, of salt. And it's usually the amount that you get between your finger and your, your thumb and your forefinger. And then I'm going to take also just a pinch of salt, you know, just a little pinch of salt. We really hope you enjoy today's special breakfast menu. And remember, as always, international dishes can be fast, Easy, Easy and, and delicious as well. Yes. Just try it out yourself. You will be proud of yourself for making and creating your own signature dishes. And if you miss the steps of the cooking and also the ingredients, you can easily check on our official website, letscook.com.mm. And also, if you want an interactive and convenient way of checking out our show online, you can look at the Let's Cook live streaming TV via your mobile or tablet device. Also, don't forget to look us up on Facebook and Instagram. And thank you for watching. Let's, Let's cook. cook! Eggs, the most nutritious food. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll hopefully see you next, next time. Week. <laughs> see you next time. <gasps> Look! That's alright. It's okay to make mistakes in the oh. kitchen. Actually, it's part of the fun. A little salt and pepper. Actually, that'd be great if you could add that in for me. A couple, a couple uh, pinches of salt in there. And some black pepper as well. Hi there. I'm gonna open this. You, you gotta, you turn it like that. The new... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.